Bună ziua tuturor, suntem în Lituania, la Vilnius, acolo unde, la celebrarea celor 10 ani, 50 deschide porțile pentru toți fermierii din România. Welcome to the Kinsey factory. Uh, my name is Edward Desmelis. I'm a design engineering manager here at uh, Kinsey Europe. And I'm going to share the, the road we had so far over the 10 years we had in this factory here. So we started our production here 10 years ago. And uh, the first year we moved one of the most simple models from our headquarters in the United States to here in Lithuania, uh, the model 3005 which we've started assembling here in, the, in, in our factory. And what we did here was we made that machine uh, built, we, we built it, we assembled it, and uh, from an engineering perspective, we made it, we supported the factory to make it work and make sure that all components fit and it, it's a good quality project product. Uh, since the beginning, we had very deep uh, insight and a wish to, to produce as good uh, quality product uh, as we can. And uh, during the first years we worked extremely close with our headquarters in the United States and we took a lot of knowledge from them, how the product uh, should be put together, what the special needs are, where we should look at. And since then, uh, since 2013, we've been assembling planters here in this factory. Hello, I am Brian McCann. I am Executive Vice President of Kinsey Manufacturing and Director of Kinsey Europe. Am I excited to welcome you here to our factory in Lithuania? I've been with Kinsey for 25 years now and I was here at the beginning of Kinsey Europe. I hope this video gets you excited about Kinsey products and you will visit us at one of the ag shows, uh, Agrotechnica, any of the ag shows in Romania. I hope you go to our exclusive dealer, K Planter, in Romania, and I really encourage you to come visit us for an experience Kinsey, either in Lithuania or even in the United States, and experience Kinsey. Experience Kinsey is your opportunity to meet and talk with the engineers that design your products, the service people who will give you the after-sale service and support, and the entire Kinsey team that gives you what we believe is the best planter in the world. Over the years, uh, we introduced more and more different models. So first we started with 3005, then we added 3605, which was next step, the 16 row machine. And uh, then we started adding more and more options to, to the products compared to the United States. And from engineering perspective, we began to do more and more customization and uh, more and more unique features uh, to the, the planters here. We, we found out that the market in the United States is a bit different than here. The, the farming practices are different. So the farmers in the United States want and prefer one options while uh, the local farmers in our region prefer different options. So that's where we stepped in and we started doing more and more product development for our specific farmer needs. So we started doing small options like uh, adding dry fertilizer uh, to the planters. We introduced dry fertilizer 3005, the big stainless steel tanks. Uh, we introduced bulk dry fertilizer to 3605 planter. And over the years, the, the number of machines and different options grew, but also our communication and cooperation with our headquarters was also increasingly growing. So we've been working together with uh, our colleagues from the United States. We've been traveling there and seeing how the products are built there, what farmers do there. And at the same time, we were traveling in our regions and learning what our farmers are doing, what they want, uh, what, what features they prefer, and we try to in incorporate that into our products. Noi suntem azi in Fabrica Kinze Europe in Lithuania. Eu sunt Diana Mihalova, director companiei K-Planter. K-Planter este distributor unic pentru Kinze în România și Moldova. În Europa sunt mai mult popular semnator Kinze, dar Kinze 
oferă și remorș de cereale și discurile. Cu chinze putem semăna toate culturile, cum floarea sărului, porumb, rapița și cereale, grou, ors și soia și toate boabe. Cele mai populare modele pentru România sunt 3505 și 3605. Sunt posibil comandat în configurația cu split row, cu care e posibil să semăna la 35 cm. Noi avem experiența cu semănătoarea Kinze, semănat cereal la 35 cm în România din 2019, când a fost semănat ors. E experiența nouă, vedem rezultatele sunt mai bine, plantele sunt mai sănătoase, când norma de semănat e mai mică și distanța între rânduri e mai mare. As the time went, uh, we learned more and more about how things work and what needs to be put together to make this a really quality product. So did our competence grew up in, in what we do. So over the years, we, since we introduced the bigger machines like 3605, we added the true rate meter, which was a vacuum meter, uh, which was like no in class. It was world class meter, uh, which had accuracy that that was not seen before. So we introduced that into our products and we integrated it into, into our machines. That, that jumped our quality and accuracy level significantly and that was really well accepted. And uh, since then, uh, we've uh, had this new meter integrated into all the machines we had. Then the bigger innovation afterwards, we didn't stop. We, we continued our development and we continued testing and the continue, continued striving to deliver the best product we can. We developed a new meter, which was called True Speed Meter. This is a next step towards the precision and accuracy planting at higher speed. And uh, that, uh, that meter allowed us to plant at extremely high speeds, up to 19 kilometers an hour. At the, at the accuracy of 99% uh, of, of depending on the crop types and speed. With true rate, we, with added true rate, we have a, a lot of crops we support. So we have corn, sunflower, soybean, wheat, uh, rapeseed, sugar beet, beans, and the, 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 the number of crops are pretty much unlimited. There's a lot of other crops that you can plant. Uh, there are customers that try to plant rice and, and even buckwheat. Uh, so it's, it's, it's adaptable, you can add more and more crops and uh, this meter has been a long time in the market, it's already proven, so it, it really has a long and wide range of uh, seeds that that's, it can support. On the other hand, our true speed, the newest and, and, and fastest meter, uh, is, is growing in this crop support. At the moment we support corn, sunflower, uh, sugar beet. Uh, we are introducing canola or rapeseed as we call it here this year and every year we're continuing to develop new and new crop types that we support. So each year the, the, the number of crops supported is growing. Over the years when we introduced true rate, true speed meters, uh, our competence kept growing and we, we continuously didn't stop, our development didn't stop and we increased in number of things we started doing here in the factory. We worked on various options. We then we jumped one step and we started designing new planters. So the Kinsey 3035 planter was designed here in Europe, in our factory in Lithuania. Uh, we designed it from the concept to the serial production and testing. So it's been tested around here in our fields. We had the planter at our customer fields and been tested in our customer sites. And now this machine is, uh, is already in production for several years. Other major thing we've done was the uh, 4805, the big 24-row machine. We developed that also uh, here in cooperation with the United States headquarters. And uh, that was one of the biggest machines we, we added into our portfolio. And we spent almost two years testing that machine and verifying all the issues and fixing all the issues so the uh, end user wouldn't have to do that. So as of today, uh, we are here for 10 years and we have changed significantly from what we were 10 years ago. Well, 10 years ago, we just started assembling the first 3005 planter, which was the most basic as it gets. Now we are assembling here everything that we sell for our markets, including all technology machines, all electronic components are installed here on our machines. So we are really full-scale production. We produce everything we, we sell in our regions. 
and we also at the same time we are developing all our products here so everything that's for our market is developed here in Kinsey Europe. So we have an engineering team that is working continuously on getting the product better every year, on fixing any issues we learn about. Ne-am întrebat deseori dacă putem găsi în România o semănătoare cu care să pot semăna mai multe culturi. Și mai e ceva ce ar trebui să știm, că fermierii caută o semănătoare în care boaba să cadă în pământ gravitațional. Iată că am găsit-o aici. We have uh, two different systems. One is true rate system, uh, which is extremely accurate metering system. And the way true rate metering system works is that the, the seed is, the, the seed is metered on the on the disc and then released into the trench. And then afterwards, the gravity takes it over, and then the seed drops through the sensor, which reads that seed is there, and then drops into the soil. This is the, the true rate meter working principle. The, the true rate system uh, works up to 13 kilometers an hour. And depending on the conditions, uh, it can really produce great results. The next step uh, is the true speed meter, where we have slightly modified the meter to work at higher speeds. But the difference there is once the seed goes through the disc and is released at the, the, the seed from the release from the disc, the belt takes over. So there's, there's no d transition between the meter to the belt. So there's no gravitational input there. So the belt takes and delivers the seed to the ground. And at the same time, the belt is rotating the same speed as the ground rotates or as the ground, ground moves. So basically it just drops the seed onto the ground, which takes all the gravity out of factor and allows you to plant as far as fast as you can. Sometimes can be very difficult to understand what it means, what the accuracy means for the farmer. Whatever, it says 99% to 96%, the field from far away looks the same. So the difference is the actually the yield. So when you plant crops, when you have everything ideal, let's say you plant corn, you have two plants that are supposed to be 30 centimeters apart, and that's the ideal, and then you have the whole field planted like that, the best yield possible, let's say the, the perfect uh, would be 10 tons per hectare. So if you go 1% down, it's it's less, it could be 9.5 tons per, per hectare. So every percent actually you lose some yield. So and we have a calculator that can allow you to calculate that, let's say you take the, the, the corn price per, per ton. Uh, we have a calculation calculator, we enter how many hectares you plant, what singulation you're getting today, let's say you're getting 95%, and with, uh, with our machine you could get, let's say, 99%, or even 1% more, that 1% could give you tens of thousands of euros per year, just, just because you have different planter. But visually the field looks the same, and it's just, why? But, but that, that's, that's the key. That 1% makes a huge difference. If, if you plant, for example, 5,000 hectares, at 95% and then you compare planting 5,000 hectares at 99%, the difference is 200 hectares. You basically lose 200 hectares. And you, you don't realize that until you actually try and get it and then you, you, you calculate and say, look, whoa, we really have a high quality standard that we keep up to. So what we do is we have our test field here that we, we test every time. And before we actually launch every year, before we launch a new feature into production, we do so-called customer test unit. So we pick several customers that are willing to try these new features, and we then deliver those features to them. So these do, those key customers run those products and features, and they provide feedback to us. And then we know what is working, maybe what's not working as we want it. Then we make the changes, and only then we go into production. So first year we introduce something for a farmer that's already been proven in testing. So it's not, it's not a new thing. So th this is the key of our product development, our strategy. We don't ever go blind into the market. So we test and try. And actually our organization here in Kinsey Europe is, is set up to support that. We have really high quality standard among all levels in the company, from the assembly, from the quality control, from supply chain, we all try to deliver the best as we can. And we try to do several steps before we let the product go out uh, to make sure that uh, it meets the quality level we need. Also during the development, it's very important for us to hear feedback on what is working, what is not working as expected, and what are the next steps for the farmers. Uh, this is the key for us to continue to grow and to develop our products. 
and we are heavily relying on our customers and our dealers to provide that feedback for us. So we actually prepared and set up Experience Kinsey event over here where we invite our customers, invite farmers here, and we want to, for, for the customers here to feel what, what it is to be at Kinsey, what, it, what the product is. And then we walk over what, what we do, what the product looks like, how we got here, what, where we are today. And then we actually show and allow to touch and feel. And uh, this way, the farmer can really see what this product is about. Because this, this is just a piece of metal. When you look from far away, it's, it's a blue color, but it's a piece of metal. But it has a meaning. Everything has a meaning here. So we, we, we spend a lot of time in all those small details that are not visible. From far away, it's a big, big, big metal piece, but from inside, there, every piece has been thought about, it's been tested and been changed and make sure that it works as it should be. Ne vine ușor în minte întrebarea, poate fi o semănătoare la fel de bună pentru porumb, cât și pentru, atât pentru porumb, cât și pentru grâu sau rapiță? Same planter can be good for many different crops. It could be good for corn, for wheat, for rapeseed. The, the different crops uh, are going differently through the planter. Uh, for example, when you plant corn, uh, you plant 80,000 seeds per hectare, you get 20, 25, 30 seeds per second. When you plant wheat, you plant wheat, say, 4 million seeds per hectare, you get 400 seeds per second. We have some technology gaps. Let's say, when you have 400 seeds per second, it's just like continuous flow. So it's very difficult to tell wherever you, you, where the seed is. So it gets difficult to see uh, where the seed actually is if you have a skip or you have a double. So there are some technical limitations that really changes the way the, the customer can, the farmer can see what it's going on on the planter. But what we do is we actually, first thing for us is to make sure that everything gets delivered to the dirt. So even though if the, the technical, the sensor cannot count all the seeds, we make sure that seeds get there. Cât de ușor este să schimb de la o cultură la alta semănătoarea? So, to, to change the crop is extremely simple. You don't need any tools. You just have to pick the right disc and ejector. So there's a seed disc and ejector, like a wheel that uh, takes all the debris out. So what you do is just remove the meter cover, install the disc, install ejector, no tools needed. You close it, you set the vacuum level, you fill in the seeds and you go. That's, that's as simple as that. To plant with the Blue Vantage system, our electronics, uh, our display, it just takes three clicks to plant. We have known other displays where it takes 15 minutes to set up where you want to go, but with our display, it's just three clicks to plant. You just want to plant, you select crop, rate, and you go. That's as simple as that. Am găsit o semănătoare pentru orice cultură, dar oare este pentru orice fermier? Cărui fermier se adresează această semănătoare? Our machines are intended for farmer who wants to get more of their land, of their fields. Because every percentage of accuracy makes a difference, it makes a difference in what you earn. And that's what we do here. We try to squeeze every, every drop from the fields we can. So we spend tons of hours trying to see what the specific down for setting means, how, how hard we need to press the row into the ground, how, what the dis distance should be between the seeds, what the depth should be of the seeds. So we try to get as much as we can from the same land. So the farmer who is really looking for a next step in his farming practices, who wants to be more profitable and wants to have reliable machine, we realize that planting is just two weeks per year. So the machine has to work. It's not acceptable when it stands and not working. So we try to make this as reliable as possible. And a farmer who wants that should look into a Kinsey product. De cele mai multe ori, întrebăm un om de vânzări. La ce ar trebui să se uite un fermier atunci când alege o semănătoare? Haideți de, de data asta să întrebăm un inginer. When you choose the planter, uh, I think correct way is to choose features over the price. Because when you look into the paper specifications, it can look the same and uh, sometimes you can choose based on the price. But the accuracy is not something that you can really see from the brochure and the accuracy makes the biggest difference. That would be my proposal to look deeper into what's inside there and what those numbers actually mean. Our motto here at Kinsey is to make uh, precision 
planting process fast, efficient and reliable for the customer. Ka planter in Romania din uh, 2017. Uh, noi uh, vendem semnator uh, Kinze și uh, oferim uh, service support uh, și piese de schimb. Noi suntem bucuroși să vă primim în uh, fabrica Kinze în Lituania. Și aici fermierii are posibilitate învață mai mult despre seminator, despre model și testat seminator în câmp lângă fabrica. Noi vă fim mereu bucuroși să venim la ferma de noastră și ajute cu configurația și discutați pentru tehnologia de noastră care configurație e cea mai bună.